If I'm Mary Brecky, KDK TV News. How safe is the water in your home or your school or even your place of work? Well, according to this evening's KDK TV news poll, it is something that you are concerned about. 71% of you say you are very or somewhat concerned about the safety of your tap water. 29% say you are not concerned. Well, those people, though, may be changing their minds after they see tonight's KTK TV investigation. We discovered things in the tap water in local hospitals and schools that definitely one would not want to drink. Marty Griffin is live with the results of his two-month investigation. Marty? Yes, uh, Patrice, the safety of our food and water has never been more under the microscope than it has since the outbreak of hepatitis A in Beaver County that's killed three people. One source investigators apparently haven't looked at is something called backflow, but two local experts say they ought to. Turn on the faucet, water comes out. You assume it's okay. But John Gilmore and John Schwartz say maybe you shouldn't. We have uh, many, many documents of death and illness directly related to potable water system contamination. These partners are obsessed with water quality. For one thing, it's their living. They check water systems and buildings looking for safety problems. Here's a recent photo they took of a morgue table at UPMC McKeesport. They put a body on this table. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, there are fluids from that body. Right. The fluids could go from this all the way into the regular water. Into the drinking water. Anybody in this hospital could be drinking blood products. That needs corrected immediately. When these contaminants flow back into the water system, it is The problem is caused by a phenomenon called backflow. As shown in this industry video, uneven water pressure allows waste like blood cleaning products, even sewage, to be siphoned back into the potable water supply. That's water used for drinking, cooking, and cleaning. Here's a photograph of an x-ray machine in the same hospital. Same problem. This is an x-ray machine with a hose connected right to it connected to the potable water system. There's heavy metals and things in there in a the developing process, all kind of hazardous chemicals. So if there's a backflow, those chemicals could go back into the water system. Here are chemical buckets in the hospital, used for cleaning, again, hooked right to the water supply. You're sucking back these the floor strippers, the, the waxes, the soaps. Into right, the hospital. Into the hospital's potable water system. There are plenty of examples of actual incidents. In Ross Township in 1981, insecticides got into the water system. 300 residents couldn't use their water for a month. In Woodsboro, Maryland, it was an herbicide that backflowed into the town's water system. And in Michigan, there's a famous case where nurses complained of rusty water from drinking fountains at a hospital. Turns out blood and other fluids from cadavers were being sucked into the water supply system. It's the same type setup that exists here at UPMC McKeesport and at countless other hospitals and other public buildings, most of them older buildings with antiquated water systems. If you were a teacher and you went through this hospital and you were giving this hospital grade A through F, what would you give the hospital? They failed miserably. People's lives are at risk here. What costs do you put on people's lives? Now, in a written statement, UPMC McKeesport says the hospital only received its first formal documentation of water connection issues on October 28th. The hospital says patient safety and care have not been impacted, and they're currently taking steps to further enhance public water connections. They'll do that by installing devices that prevent backflow, devices that are standard in new buildings. The hospital also points out that they're in compliance with all county health department regulations which is true by the way tomorrow at six health department officials react strongly to our investigation and they promise change patrice well marty how can this problem be involved in could it be involved in that chichi's incident as well yes it's definitely being looked at and you'll hear from the director of the health department addressing that specifically tomorrow also the two men in my piece aren't involved in this investigation so far they have no first-hand knowledge but they truly believe investigators should check to make sure that sewage did not backflow into the restaurant's ice machine and water where it could have contaminated everything from produce to those ice machines. Okay, thanks very much, Marty Griffin.